Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Box. Uh, we're back. Obviously, today's episode is on Canelo and Sanders. Quick hits comes at you twice a day, every day. Um, latest boxing news, just to keep you up to date. Eight ten minutes. We keep it real quick here on Quick Hits. Um, obviously, you guessed it. Today's episode: Canelo Saunders. Uh, Ringgate looks like it's been resolved. We want to give you a quick update on that. But before we do, please like and subscribe, share on all forms of social media. Like I said, 3D Boxing's Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes. Please share, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, the notifications, all that good stuff. Um, also, please check out our new channel, Texas Boxing Scene. This fight's in Texas, so it's a, it's a great uh, segue. Uh, please, uh, everything we make from that channel all goes to autism uh, research and recovery, um, every dime of it. Um, so please like and subscribe, help us monetize the page. It's a brand new page. Uh, we're looking to get that monetized as quickly as possible so we can um, start giving a bunch of money to autism research and recovery. Let's get into today's show. Um, this is almost laughable. At, at, at this point, um, so there you go. Canelo, <laughs> um, said he doesn't care about the size of the ring 18, 24, it doesn't matter. Um, first, I want to address what the Chris Mannix said. Chris Mannix said something along the lines of, um, they should mandate one ring size and you shouldn't have different ring sizes for different fights. By different sanctioning bodies, by different organizations, by different commissions, it makes no sense to me. And, and it got a lot of applause, and, I, uh, and people liked it. And I, I guess in a perfect world, it makes sense. Here's the problem with that, and I, and I want to address that right, and then we'll get into this a little bit more. Um, Major League Baseball fields have different sizes. There's different sizes, right? There, there's no cookie cutter for a ballpark. Um, three point lines in basketball. Um, FIBA, the NBA, collegiate basketball, um, European basketball, they have different court size. They have different three point line. Now, the NBA all has one. Okay, fine. But different sanctioning, you know, uh, different bodies have different three point lines. Should everyone be forced to use the same three point line? And who would force them to do that? Right, so like, if you want all rings to be the same size, fine. Who do you want to enforce that? It doesn't make any sense, right? If, if the WBC says all of our title fights have to be in a in in in, in an X size ring, and then the IBF says uh, we're going to have all of our fights in the X size ring or a Y size ring, different size ring, and Texas says we're going to have our fights in a Z size ring in California, and New York said we're going to have. Um, a, a, a ring two feet. How are you going to do this? Who, who who are you going to put in charge? And what are you going to do when two people disagree? It, I mean, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, I, I'm surprised Chris Maddox posted this because it's so stupid. I'm not trying to insult Chris Maddox, but there's no way to enforce this. And what do you do, right? What if the WBC says we're not going to uh, sanction any fights uh, unless you have a 22-foot ring? And they show up to the ring and uh, Texas Cowboy Stadium... Um, ATT Stadium puts a 20 foot ring in. You're going to cancel the whole event? It, it doesn't make any sense. It's just, it, it's ridiculous. I mean, I, I don't know where people come up with this or, or why they think it's a good idea, but it makes absolutely no sense. It's not enforceable. It's not plausible. It's just silly. Now, additionally, what is silly is Billy Joe Saunders. Billy Joe Saunders is a silly goose. Um,. <laughs> This doesn't make any sense at all, right? Like, there was a 0% chance that Billy Joe Saunders was going to walk away from the fight. I don't know if you think this is an attempt to get in Canelo's head. All right, listen, Billy Joe. A, like, number one, um, you're the B-side. If you want the fight with the biggest star in the sport, you kind of have to give it to his command so he can just pick somebody else. 
When it makes a demand, you kind of have to give into it. Now, if it's over the line, you can't take it, then don't take the fight. Um, I don't know what they told you. I obviously didn't see the contract. I don't know what you signed, what he signed, what was proposed. I don't know. Um, but uh, you're the B side. If Canelo says an 18 foot ring, it's an 18 foot ring. It's kind of the way it is. Um, 24 foot ring. I've never even heard of. That's massive. Um, second thing is you're not walking away from the fight. So he's the A side. He dictates the terms. And B number two, you're the B side. Um, you don't get to. <laughs> you're not walking away from the fight. An eight figure payday. But you will never get the likes of again. This is like Canelo money. You got it. You earned it in, in a way, in a sense. But you're not walking away from it. The garbage man who wins the lottery does not throw away the winning ticket. Okay? Billy Joe Saunders is not walking away from this payday. So no one believes you. And they said they had John Ryder that they would fly in. And once they said that, like, Billy Joe Saunders says, no, it's okay. And first of all, you're not walking away from the fight. You're trying to get underneath Canelo's skin. You didn't go to the presser. You said this. You're trying to get underneath Canelo's skin. I don't know if it's going to work or not. I have no idea. But what we do know is that this is all silly goose stuff. You're not walking away from the fight. Um, obviously, Billy Joe, Joe, Billy Joe Saunders is giving away his game plan. He's going to use the whole ring. He's going to move around, which we knew already. Um, and I don't think this is. I don't, I don't think anything Billy Joe does is going to work. Really, I mean, I don't think he has a path to victory in this fight. I, I think Canelo takes them to him lopsided. I mean, I think Canelo potentially stops him or at least wins a wide decision. Although, like I said on MCR podcast, I think Canelo is good enough. I mean, uh, Billy Joe is good enough. Where if he wants to get into survival mode and just run out the clock, he can kind of do it. He's, he's good enough to do it, but he can't win the fight, right? Uh, because he can't outbox Canelo. Like everyone thinks he's going to outbox. He's not going to outbox Canelo. He's not. Um. So I don't see much of a much of a path of victory. Uh, uh, you know, we know what Billy Joe is going to, J- Billy Joe is going to do. It's not going to work, um, and he's kind of tipped his hand on what he's going to do. He, obviously, he's going to run, use the whole ring. He's going to use movement, um, and, and Canelo's just too good at cutting the ring off. He's too his jab is too good. He just, body work is too good. Like he's going to get in front of you. He's going to use his jab to get in front of you, and then he's going to break it down. You're going to slow down, and then potentially he'll stop you. Um, officially, I'm saying Canelo. Uh, by 11th round TKO. I think that's reasonable. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um, leave your predictions below. Uh, do you guys agree with me that this Billy Joe thing is just silly and ridiculous? That there was no way he was ever walking away from the fight. Um, that he's just trying to get underneath Canelo's skin. And he doesn't have a- any leverage. He doesn't have any leverage to, to demand things. He'll just be replaced by John Ryder. Like, it doesn't matter. No one's here to see Billy Joe Saunders. Uh, let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share in all forms of social media. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day, every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Um, it is May 5th. I'll go to Mayo. Um, Ivan Calderon is still in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Let's make that change. Let's get the Iron Boy in the class of 2021. Uh, From Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.